Another fire to tell you about tonight. You could see this smoke from at least 20 miles away. We continue to get new details on a large fire in southeast Bear County. We brought this to you as breaking news at 6 o'clock. Yeah, it apparently started as a grass fire, ended up threatening homes along Highway 181 near Dunup Road just before 6 o'clock. The night team's Patty Santos joins us live. Patty, you spoke to several neighbors about just how close a call this was tonight. Yeah, the fire was right behind this fence here. The problem was that there was wind, and that wind was pushing the fire and the flames up and out right into these homes. Now, firefighters tell us they had enough crews here, and they were confident that this fire was contained, so they didn't have to evacuate people. We saw the smoke from military, like all the way from military, and then it was like right next to us. The fire was knocking on the door of residents at the Aztec Estate Mobile Home Park right next door. I heard it. Ah, uh, like a, a small explosion. Those explosions say Bear County firefighters were likely tires. The investigation is just starting, but firefighters think the fire initiated from a barbecue pit, which started a grass fire and spread to a warehouse full of stuffed animals. At that corner of the building within three minutes, um, where you can see over to the right, that was already on fire and fully involved. The fire also took out some boats and RVs, but everyone made it out safely. The smoke could be seen all across San Antonio. It's the stuffing from the stuffed animals, right? That's what would be toxic or, or what the, why it was so black in nature. The building is a storage facility for a circus company. The property is registered to Paul's Concessions. And State Highway 181 was closed for several hours, but it has now been reopened. And here's what's happening next. Firefighters have a bulldozer here. They're going to tear down that warehouse, and they're going to make sure that all those stuffed animals are completely out. We're live in the southeast Bear County part. Patty Santos, KSAT 12 News.